What is up, beautiful planet Earth? It's your favorite space alien Astro Boy, aka Casey Chaos, in the house here to bring y'all another, another one from Aurora, guys. Y'all know, y'all know I'm in love. Y'all know, um, you know, I listen to a lot of hardcore, heavy stuff, man. So this is like my way of of coming back down to reality. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm super excited, guys, because she just dropped an album today, and even though I haven't heard all her past songs because I was saving them for reactions, I feel like now I'm at the point where I just need to catch up. So, you guys let me know. I'm going to put this out today. I have a live show tonight at 6 um, on Twitch. Please come. If you want to hang out, come request some Aurora songs. We love some Aurora up there, um, over there, around there, whatever you want to cite. You know what I'm saying? Um, but either way, I'm considering doing a like a listening party tomorrow on YouTube. YouTube may shut it down, um, but they may let it ride because she, she doesn't particularly like, I know her artist, her label and the copyright holders are pretty lenient on, on her music. And I think that has to do with her and the way she, she's always sharing like fan stuff and you know, like just highlighting creative fan TikToks and, and Instagrams and stuff like that. So, um, she's one of the few artists that pretty much anytime I appeal a copyright issue, it pretty much gets overturned. Now I did do one on the last song and it didn't get overturned. So we'll see, but you guys let me know. I'm going to put it in a community post tentatively. I don't know exactly what time, but you guys let me know if that's something y'all would be interested in. To sit down, listen to the whole album, talk about it, you know, just basically like a reaction. But you guys will have the live chat feed so we can, can chat back and forth and all that good stuff. If not, I'm still going to do a premiere of maybe a couple songs I'm going to react to off of her album in a row. Because some of them are really short, I saw. I've only listened to like a piece of one. And then I was like, nope, let me get to work. So, I don't have a whole lot of time to waste. Uh, like I said, my show starts here in about an hour. Which is not a lot of time to get all this done. So, I'm just going to do one song for now. And this one is a random pick of the draw. And this is, this could be a dream. With all that being said, guys, a lot of people are asking me how to support the channel. Uh, you can support the channel through merchandise, through uh, the Patreon that we're going to be creating. Uh, uh, I have a thing called Buy a Cup of Coffee where you can do tips, stuff like that. Um, you can also go to kcks.com, uh, request songs, come to the live shows, like whatever you want, guys. Whatever you guys want to do. All I ever could ask from you guys is just to come hang out with me and spend your time with me. And even that is a hard ass because that's totally up to you guys. So I am deeply, deeply grateful for that in itself. And um, yeah, man. And I'm glad you guys share the same passion that I share for Aurora. And it looks like our our audience, our Aurora crew, the weirdos and warriors are growing over here on the Casey Chaos channel. I'm just saying, the first Aurora reaction I did is finally at 3,000 views. The last one I put out is already at 3,000 views. So I was looking at my metrics today. So, woo woo! You guys are coming through. I appreciate that deeply um, because I love doing our music. So, um, yeah. So here we go. This is this could be a dream. And what is the name of this album? I don't even know the name of the freaking album. That's how horrible I am. The Gods We Can Touch. So I've heard some people in the comments say that there's uh, there's some uh, references to different uh, mythologies and stuff like that, different goddesses and gods and stuff like that. Tell me what you think, guys. Uh, I've had people say that all her albums have certain themed like deities or themed uh, mythologies or whatever around the albums. I don't know if I quite catch all that, so if, if that's the case, I'd really like to dig a little bit deeper into some of her lyrics and what she's saying, um, because I just love, I love her message, and sometimes I don't quite understand who she's talking to or like how she's like directing the message, and then sometimes it's very obvious to me, um, you know, like my the first one I did, um, you know, it was obvious who, what, she, what she was talking about to me. Now these songs, open you know to some interpretation on my end because i haven't really gone and researched because i like to just interpret things for what they are but 
because it's been brought up i am going to be looking into this so y'all let me know are we going to do a uh like a uh an album review party or not tomorrow if i get enough people to go in the community tab after i drop this and give me a good time that would work for you guys um, and I mean a decent amount of people because I'm not going to spend, you know, I'm not going to spend half my day doing it for just a couple people, but I'd be more than happy to do it for, you know, a handful of uh, hardcore fans. So, um, and I want to hear the album, you know what I mean? So I, w I would chop it up a little bit and maybe make individual reactions out of it, um, at some point as well. So here we go. We got, this could be a dream. Come check me out on Twitch. We'll be live here in just a bit at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And here we go. Get ready, man. Buckle your seatbelt. It's about to get funky fresh. Okay, let's just say it's a weird beginning to this song. I did not like quite feel or catch the groove of this yet so let me bring it back for my own sake just because i want to kind of feel where she's coming in on this where this out where the song actually falls on the album this could be a dream second to last song it could be say dive into my hold on so i'm gonna pull this up on uh i want to look at the lyrics real quick dive into my mind and don't come up for air you won't need it in it here okay cool that's what i thought she said i'm just making sure i'm trying to conceptually i'm trying to understand the album Can I move you? Can I sorry to stop it again keep in mind guys i have not heard one aurora album from beginning to finish and i have actually there's a bunch of songs on all of her previous albums that I haven't heard. So this would be like a first time that I actually get to sit down and digest her whole entire album. Hopefully, um, if we do the, the live reaction thing. If not, I'm going to have to hold back a little bit. Can I move you? Can I soothe your fear? Could you trust love? If I prove it's there, oh, I need to know it too. reference of home a lot in her lyrics and I, I have to assume that she's talking about you know where we come from or you know heaven or wh whatever you believe in obviously she believes you know what she believes I believe what I believe but you know to me home means where we came from like you know for me I'm a space alien I came from a different planet pretty sure she's an alien too she's not from this planet but I don't think she's from my planet I think she's from a different one in the same solar system if that makes sense um but yeah, she said, I know I should, should figure this out on my own, but if you come by, could you take me home? Again, the first song I did, Runaway, you know, that's what she was saying in there. She's like, take me home, you know? I i don't belong here. I, I, I'm i done. I can't stand it. Sometimes to know I'm alive. So it's a very soft, like. Let me 
could stop right there. This is an interesting song because it's like usually her vocals are super soft inside of the music that's that's around her. And this one, the music's like real chill and real laid back, like real soft. And they, even they just brought a horn in there, which is usually a pretty uh, vibrant instrument. And they, they, they mixed it in really well. So it's, it's just interesting where this song's coming from. I really want to go to the first song on the, on the album. But I just rolled the dice on this one, so that'll be next. But if I touch you, would you feel it? There could I trust love, even if I'm scared? Oh, I wish I could give like I'm longing to give. Oh, I wish I could live like I'm longing to live. And I lift myself and I close my eyes and I sing sometimes to know I'm alive. I know I should figure this out. I know I'm not alone. And if you come by, could you take me home? Kind of remind me a little bit. Uh, kind of remind me a little bit of the the Massive Attack uh, cover that she did, um, just based on the chillness of it. I guess you could say it didn't didn't really have any like huge change ups. It was like just a smooth like just a smooth like mellow. Just I don't know something I could like fall asleep to. You know, in a good way. Like it's very relaxing. It's very calming. Some of her music's like out there and weird and some of it's like more you know it's got a heavier hit to it and louder and and more vibrant this is very like just almost melancholy like almost just super smooth butter and super just pleasing to the ears but nothing fancy nothing crazy so we're just starting to dig into the album so yeah here we go guys this is this is track one for me at least um I may mess around and go ahead and do uh, the first track on the album so before I uh, run out of time because I'd like to hear it now that I've heard that one. So that being said, we'll be live in just a bit on Twitch. Come hang out. Come say hi to your boy Casey Chaos, a.k.a. Astro Boy. I love you guys. Thank you all to all the weirdos and warriors out there, man. Y'all stay strong. Y'all stay weird. Um, and somebody get Aurora on the phone and let her know that I got a time slot open for her specifically for her to do an interview on our show so just saying just saying i know one of you guys know her personally and have her phone number and probably talk to her on a regular so just let her know that you know it's gonna be the best interview ever so i love you guys be good be safe Pika. Pika.